Over in the school this year, we've been learning about the devotion of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Part of that devotion to the Sacred Heart that comes from St. Margaret Mary is to receive communion on nine consecutive First Fridays throughout the year. So upon request of a number of parents, uh, the students have been attending their all-school Mass on First Fridays of each month so they can both learn about and practice that devotion. So why do I bring that up today? Well, because today as we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, we celebrate the fifth of those nine First Fridays that we're doing for the school. Last month we enthroned an image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in the school, and as part of that ceremony, we also consecrated the school to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Today's feast gives us a great opportunity to reflect on that very close relationship between that mother and child, between Mary and Jesus, that close connection between the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So our gospel today gives the account of the shepherds visiting the infant Jesus and his mother, but it also refers us back to the beginning of that relationship between the mother and the son. It says, when eight days was completed for a circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel when he was conceived in the womb. So the relationship goes all the way back to the Annunciation. When Gabriel announces to Mary, you will, conceive and in your, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. And then Mary gave her yes. Let it be done to me according to your word. So it was then at that moment of great mystery when the new life of Jesus, the Christ child, came into her womb by the power of the Holy Spirit. And from that moment, Mary was mother, just as any woman is mother from the moment when her child is conceived in her womb. With uh, today's science, we know a lot about the development of the baby before they're even born. The physical heart actually is one of the first organs that begin to develop. Within three weeks, only 18 days, Jesus' heart began to develop. By week four, his heart began to beat. By the seventh week, his physical sacred heart was functionally complete. And if they would have had our technology, then they would have been able to hear Jesus' heart beat by week 10. And afterwards, it says in Scripture that Elizabeth had already been six months pregnant by the time Mary visited her. And usually a mother can begin to feel the movement of her child by week 16 through 25 or so. So it's no surprise that Elizabeth felt that 26-week-old John leap for joy in her womb at the presence of Jesus in Mary's. At 20 weeks, the tiny Jesus would have been able to hear Mary's heartbeat. And during this time, uh, we know that the, the unborn child's heart rate actually often changes with changes in the mother's heart rate. And that's such a wonderful image, this alignment of the physical hearts between, between the child and mother to teach us something more about that deeper spiritual Alignment between Mary's will and the will of God now living inside her. In a, in a study in 2011, it was found that even after the child is born, all a mother and the baby have to do is look at one another. And they found that when this happens, there's a kind of, of matching up with their heartbeats. They're not exactly the same because the baby's heart rate is much faster than the mother's. But they found that there was more heartbeats simultaneous than would normally be just by chance. And I don't know if this could occur as a child continues to grow older, but I can imagine moments like at the wedding feast at Cana or on the road to Calvary or at the crucifixion when the meeting of the gaze of Mary and Jesus 
expressed their complete harmony of mind and will. That's how close of a connection there is between the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of her Son. Just as Jesus' Sacred Heart was so close to Mary's Immaculate Heart, our second reading today says that God sent His Spirit of His Son into our hearts. So we have become sons and daughters of God the Father, of Mary, our mother. May we, like Mary, never cease to reflect on these things in our hearts. Please uh, listen and pray with me. This offering that was composed by St. John Eudes, a priest who had a great devotion to the Sacred Heart. O Jesus, only Son of God, only Son of Mary, I offer thee the most loving heart of thy divine mother, which is more precious and pleasing to thee than all hearts. O Mary, mother of Jesus, I offer thee the most adorable heart of thy well-beloved Son, who is the life and love and joy of thy heart. Blessed be the most loving heart and sweet name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the most glorious Virgin Mary, his mother, in eternity and forever. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. In this year of mercy, glory to the most sacred heart of Jesus forever and ever. Amen.